Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to Mass You at Home. My name is Father John Corrigan. I'm a country priest from the Diocese of Ballarat. And today we celebrate the Transfiguration of the Lord, which also marks the beginning of Vocations Awareness Week. Tuesday, as you know, is the Feast of St. Mary MacKillop. So let's ask St. Mary to pray to the Lord of the harvest that he might call forth many labourers for the Australian harvest. With that intention in mind, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You shouldered the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You open for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory Glory to God God in in the highest highest, and on earth earth, peace to people of goodwill. We We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, God, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship, grant, we pray to your servants, that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set in place, and one of great age took his seat. His robe was as white as snow, the hair of his head as pure as wool. His throne was a blaze of flames, its wheels were a burning fire. A stream of fire poured out, issuing from his presence. A thousand thousand waited upon him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. A court was held and the books were opened. I gazed into the visions of the night and I saw, coming on the clouds of heaven, one like a son of man. He came to the one of great age and was led into his presence. On him was conferred sovereignty, glory and kingship, and men of all peoples, nations and languages 
became his servants. His sovereignty is an eternal sovereignty which shall never pass away, nor will his empire ever be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God mounts his throne to shout of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy, for the Lord the Most High we must feed. up with shouts of joy the Lord goes up with trumpet blast sing praise for God sing praise sing praise to our King sing praise God mounts his throne to shouts of joy a blare of trumpets for A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. It was not any cleverly invented myths that we were repeating when we brought you the knowledge of the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We had seen his majesty for ourselves. He was honoured and glorified by God the Father when the sublime glory itself spoke to him and said, This is my Son, the beloved. He enjoys my favour. We heard this ourselves spoken from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. So we have confirmation of what was said in prophecies, and you will be right to depend on prophecy and take it as a lamp for lighting a way through the dark until the dawn comes and the morning star rises in your minds. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. This is my son, my beloved, in whom is all my delight. Listen to him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up a high mountain where they could be alone. There in their presence he was transfigured. His face shone like the sun and his clothes became as white as the light. Suddenly Moses and Elijah appeared to them. They were talking with him. Then Peter spoke to Jesus. Lord, he said, it is wonderful for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three tents here. One for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when suddenly a bright cloud covered them with shadow, and from the cloud there came a voice which said, This is my son, the beloved. He enjoys my favour. Listen to him. When they heard this, the disciples fell on their faces, overcome with fear. But Jesus came up and touched them. Stand up, he said. Do not be afraid. And when they raised their eyes, they saw no one but only Jesus. 
As they came down from the mountain, Jesus gave them this order. Tell no one about the vision until the Son of Man has risen from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Some of the best stories are told in a three-act structure. So first act, set up. Second act, crisis. Third act, resolution. And I think today's gospel is a great first act to a fantastic story arc. So first act, set up. Among the 72 disciples who live with Jesus, we know there are 12 apostles, especially close to him. But amongst the 12, there are three whom Jesus singles out. At the transfiguration, they're separated from the group. They receive a special favour. And then notice the end of today's gospel, they're sworn to secrecy. Tell no one about the vision, Jesus orders, until the Son of Man has risen from the dead. I think that single line tells us that the transfiguration is not a standalone event. So let's move to Act 2, Crisis. It's Holy Thursday. The Last Supper is winding up. The 12, 11 now, are in disarray. And again, Peter, James and John are separated from the group. Jesus asks the three to accompany him to Gethsemane. Now at the Transfiguration, Jesus shows his glory to strengthen the three. At Gethsemane, the roles are reversed. Jesus is sad, he's afraid, and he wants the three to strengthen him. But remember, second act, crisis. The three fail him. They fall asleep repeatedly. And worse, when Jesus is arrested, the three abandon him. It seems as though the transfiguration has borne no fruit at all. And now we have the third act, resolution. Let's just hone in on one of those apostles. So the third act for John occurs only hours after the second act when he seeks out the mother of Jesus and she leads him to Calvary. Why did John seek out Our Lady when all the other disciples go to ground? Maybe it's from the grace of the transfiguration. Now I think the three-act structure that we can discern in the lives of the three apostles can also be discerned in our own lives, and then we can glean lessons from them. So in the first act, we ourselves will receive transfiguration moments, special blessings from God, and we can learn from Peter. He asked to build tents in the middle of the transfiguration, and that spirit of service is the best way to respond to God's grace, because so often God favours us so that we can serve others. In the third act, when we've suffered the cross and we need resolution, we can learn from St. John. Like him, when we fail, we can hasten to Our Lady. She will take us by the hand and lead us to her son. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends, through Christ we are called into God's glory. As people of the light, let us offer our prayers for ourselves and the whole world. That the church will be a shining beacon, 
a lamp lighting the way until Christ comes again in glory. We seek your face. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who live in fear will find hope in the peace and comfort offered by Christ, the light of the world. We seek your face. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and housebound members of our Mass for You at Home community will join their sufferings to Christ and be lifted up. We seek your face. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. That the dead will be transfigured with Christ in glory for all time. We seek your face. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. God of light, you transfigured your Son in a blaze of glory which illuminates the earth. Hear our prayers and lead us from your holy mountain to build your kingdom of light and peace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all of his holy church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by his radiant splendor cleanse us from the stains of sin through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in its head. So with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. (laughs) 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, the bishops of Australia and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendour you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Today's Mass is proudly sponsored by Cath News your daily Catholic news service. Hi, I'm Father Mark de Batista. I want to thank you for your support. Without your help, we cannot keep this ministry going. If I may be of assistance to any of you, feel free to reach out to me. May God bless you.